Well, guys, they just keep coming. That's just the way it is. Welcome to more Pokemon Silver. I'm Boss Sudno, and <clears throat> I just cleared my throat dramatically. So last time we went in the Burnt Tower, we got Madame Cough, we defeated uh, Bill Cosby, and we showed the Kimura Girls what's up. Plus, we got served, which is really cool. And one thing I did off screen in honor of a great friend of our channel. I went and got the Eevee because if you watched his Let's Play, he got an Eevee. And you know what? I got an Eevee too. And look at the name. Dova Jr. That one is for you. And uh, his status, he's okay. So really, as you know, this is Johto. So stones are really hard to find. So I don't really care what he evolves into. If it's daytime, he could have become an Espeon. If it's nighttime, hell, we might have an Umbreon on our team. Who knows? But we will have him regardless. Uh, so what I want to do this time is hit up the old Pokemart and let's pay a visit to our friend Morty, the user of Jihost types or Ghost. Here's some of them super pots. Super strength pot so we can go into the wildy and take down KBD. RuneScape reference. I used to play RuneScape all the time. Back in the old days. The old, old days of RuneScape. My old days and your old days of RuneScape are probably, you're thinking of different things. I'm talking of back before, before Califite Queen, before all this, this and that. Ooh, and real quick. Let's see. Do you know bite? Do you know bite, you are sweeping this gym. Ah, alas, no biting for you. It's okay. Let's take down his, his minions. Can you inflict any damage on our Pokemon? Well, yes. Yes, and I will inflict a lot of it. Sage, ping! Wants to battle. Send out a Ghastly. The Great Ghastly. Yo, Master Wayne. You. Uh, I think Lick paralyzes. Yep. These things happen. I will bite you. Om nom nom. Yeah, clearly Master Wayne is gonna be the all star of this fight. Of this whole gym. Just with that bite. Sage Ping is about to use G ass Tully of House Tully from River Run and Game of Thrones. Another Game of Thrones reference. Ooh. I'm not going anywhere. Looks like there's only one way to get out, and that's to win. Speaking of that tone of voice and the desire to win, I was watching. Bleach, I mean, I know I'm caught up with it, I read it every week, but I was just watching on Toonami, and it was the final fight of Ichigo and, and uh, Aizen already, so that's just interesting, that it progressed, and now there's gonna be like a million weeks of that damn filler with, uh, with the red guys, that filler before it goes to the substitute, lost substitute arc, which will be a cool arc, but it's okay, because I won't really be watching it too much. Cause I won't be home, but eh, what are you gonna do? I like Bleach. I like Bleach. Why you got the stupidest verse? Mean look is interesting. It reminds me of Legend of Zelda. Reminds me of the Wind Waker. Those giants, that giant giant squid with all the eyeballs, and you just gotta wreck him before he swallows you and spits you somewhere. The Kraken. Speaking of the Kraken. Dova and I actually, we have a running joke with Pirates of the Caribbean about good guy Kraken. So if you notice at the end of Dead Man's Chest, I watched it the other day. The end of Dead Man's Chest, when the Kraken like burps kind of in Jack's face, all he wanted to do was return his hat because he he belched up the hat and he put on the hat. So he's a good guy. And I, for those of you who didn't know, there's a reason his Eevee is named Hector. As in Hector Barbosa. Think about it. You don't know him like I do.
All right, I'm gonna take down these minions off screen. Wait a second, wait a second. Guess what I just remembered? This is Route 42. We have had but Heracross is here. All right, cross your fingers and hopefully the next time you see, hear my voice, it'll be talking about a Heracross. So let's hope and pray, guys. No. He is so hard to find. My only guess is that Bullpedia says it's 30% chance of running into him. So my only guess is that he's on the other side. So no big deal. We will one day, we will get a hair cross. Even just run into one just to make it faint. I will encounter one. You mark my words, viewers. Now without further ado, I think I had some minions to fight. Piece of cake, my friends. Piece of cake. Speaking of cake, let's take the cake. Good of you to have come. Here in Aquatic, Pokemon have been re revered. It is said that legendary Pokemon will appear to truly powerful trainers. I believe that tale, so I have secretly trained here all my life. Secretly, when you're in a gym, and everyone comes here to challenge you far and wide. As a result, I can now see what others cannot. Just a bit more, with a little more, I could see a future in which I meet the legendary Pokemon. You're going to help me reach that level. Badass Morty wants to battle. G Astley. Oh, them Gastlys. I be choking on that Gastly. Smoking on that Gastly, excuse me. I'm not what they call hip. Lick. Oh, curse. Yeah, I'm gonna bite you. He's about to send out Haunter, huh? Master Wayne vs. the Joker. So I like to see. I don't care if I'm cursed. Ooh, it didn't affect me. I don't got time to go to sleep, my boy. That's the stuff, Master Wayne. Level up so when it's nighttime you will evolve. About to use Ginger or Gengar, depending on your pronunciation. Probably gonna go for the Hypnosis Dream Eater. Okay, hurt by the curse. Oh jeez. Here comes the Dream Eater. Smartest move is to switch because he's probably going to go for Dream Eater. Yep. As you bring out the Surf, this is the coolest looking Surf in any of the games. You feel like you just water level rises. And he sends out a Haunter. I always thought he had a Mistrevis. Well, perhaps I was wrong again. Five eyes. Spite, you threw your life away on Spite. That Haunter is a Woolly Loman. From Death of a Salesman, written by, I think, Arthur Miller, who may or may not have also written The Crucible, which has John Proctor screaming my name, just in case you didn't know. I'm not good enough yet. Alright, this badge is yours. Take my money. Boss received the Fog Badge. By having Fog Badge, poke one up to level 50 will obey you. Also, Pokemon that know Seth will be able to use that move at any time. I want you to have this too. I got a TM30. It's Swagger. 
It's Shadow Ball, it causes damage and may reduce special defense. Use it if it appeals to you. Well, thanks for being such a gentleman, Morty. Let's warp out of here. Wow, it's already nighttime. Who would have thought? Maybe I'd be able to capture a hair across. No, I don't know. I'm gonna off screen try because you just try and try and try. There's nothing to lose from trying in anything you do. Take that to heart. So, we'll, we'll, I'll be right back with you guys. Oh my god! It's an Aerocross. It worked. I knew it was on the other side of the water. And guess what? He fell from the tree. Go, Madame Koth. Hit it with a tackle attack. Yeah, hit it with a tackle attack. That moment when you really don't want to kill it by accident, and you know you won't, but you still get nervous. That ought to do it. You know what? You belong in an Ultra Ball. The work it took to get you, get in there. You're great, Heracross. Alright, what will happen? Will we catch him? Or will it just be an elusive dream? Damn it, when I say get caught, you get caught. We'll play hardball. I don't want to have to do this. But you left me with no choice. Go for it, Dova Jr. Like that's gonna, leering isn't gonna do you any good. Say goodbye to super speed loss and accuracy. Bear with the weird music. Do it, Big Bertha. You lost some accuracy. Hit you with the great ball. Hit you with my best shot. Wait, oh, you are out of your mind. Alright, we have three Pokeballs and a Lure Ball. It's starting to look bleak. Like Bleak Falls Barrel, like in Skyrim. I'm gonna do leech life on you. Master Wayne, Saddam Hussein. Okay. I'm gonna hit you with the lure ball. Just see just let's see if it works. Boing bing bang dong doing. There we go. Oh jeez. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah, oh, jeez. Come on. We got one more. No. As Woody would say, no, 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 no. 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 Alright, be right back off screen. I'm bringing the big guns. He wasn't material to be on the team. He never would have made it. They would have eaten him alive at the Pokemon League. We're going to go and get a better Heracross. Be right back with a better Heracross. To here. Heracross, Dados, head to the Pokedex. Heracross, the impossibly hard to locate Osama Bin Laden type hiding spot. Ultimate hide and seek Pokemon. At 4 foot 11 inches and 119 pounds, this shit is impossible to find. Usually docile, but if disturbed while sleeping, wait, I mean, you can't disturb while sleeping because you can't find it. 
Oh, I have a good nickname for you. Maximus, as in Maximus Decimus Murdius, commander of the armies in the north and the Felix Legions. Loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. Father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and he will have his vengeance in this life or the next. That kind of Maximus from the movie Gladiator. So this was a pr uh, productive episode. We took down, uh... Not Allah, uh, thank you. We took down Morty. We unknowingly discovered the location of Heracross. After much uh, tribulation, we got said Heracross, and we gave him a quite badass name. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to close this episode off on a good note. And next time, we're going to head towards Olivine City and maybe pay a visit to a lighthouse. Who knows? So if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. I make these kind of videos all the time. I also make Pokemon Showdown, and I've been thinking of other videos to make too. And uh, just we'll have to see you next time, right? I'm Boss Said No, and you are, insert name here. Goodbye.